Hey y'all, it's Cindy. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'm really excited about what I'm getting ready to do. So please stick around because I think I got some interesting things happening. Um, so this is with the Little Pouring Art family of uh, Facebook. They put on monthly challenges and I'll have all of the people participating in the description um, below. And I will also have my colors. Um, we had to use three or four colors and a blue, and if we used black or white, it would be um, considered one of our colors, and we had to do a dustpan. So I went to Sarah Mac's channel, and I picked up one of those legendary dustpans because I needed a real actual dustpan that I could use. Um, I've made a couple of custom colors. First, I'm going to flood my canvas with this color. Um, I made, and I was really uh, thinking about orange sherbet. Actually, I was thinking about all sherbet. I think I've been, like, um, craving, like, that punch you make with the 7-Up and sherbet. <laughs> Anyways, and then next I have Indian Yellow, the Arteza, and I also have, let me see, Azo Yellow Deep by Amsterdam, and Orange Red by Arteza. And then for my blue, I have the Thalo Blue by Arteza, and I also put a little bit of Golden's uh, Pan's Gray in here to darken it up. Because so I'm going to put this between my layers with these, and then I'm going to do a couple of ring pours in here and put them over. And I kind of want it to drip down, and I was trying to figure out, you know, the best way to do that, and I was thinking about consistencies. And how that'll make things fall, at, you know, at different speeds. Um, but then I remembered my uh, Dutch dams I like to use, but I use those with my straw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these uh, different sizes of cups once I pour it. And then I'm just going to tilt it down just a little bit so it gets started going at different speeds. And then I'll remove the cups and go from there. So hang around, and I hope you enjoy the music, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and I've gone ahead and uh, flooded my canvas, which is a 20 by 24 artist loft level uh, one canvas. Um, so I went ahead and did, did that, and if you hadn't noticed, I had painted my edges uh, with yellow, just to have something besides white under there. And I went ahead and layered two cups, and I thought I'd bring you in for my third cup. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm starting that off with some of that yellow deep. And then I'm going to go in with my phthalo blue. And then the Indian yellow. A little more blue. I think I'm only going to have room for two of these on this dustpan. But hey, you never know. You never know what might happen. Because I can always change my mind lickety split. And I'm trying to make these layers a little bit thick because I want the lines to show and be kind of drippy looking. I really, really love this Arteza Orange Red. I think I'll leave that full, full cup for my just-in-case cup. <laughs> just in case I might use that on a pour tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, so in my dustpan and also in my shovels, I like to put a little base coat in there just to help the paint slide off. Because when I first started trying to do this, I would have such a really hard time. Um, I didn't like how my paint was coming off my dust pans. And this is how I combated that. Okay. 
okay. pretty in there, isn't it? Oh. It's about three o'clock in the morning here. So I got you guys on Cindy time. I'll probably be asleep when this comes on. check and make sure I got y'all lined up. That's pretty good. See that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm stepping in paint right now. You know what, I think I'm going to take this last cup and I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Just to make sure I got plenty to play with. And speaking of playing with, if you're looking for a group, the little um, Pouring Art family on Facebook, it's a small group. And it has a fluid artist of all levels. And there's always challenges. And you don't have to have a YouTube channel. I mean, you can share your work on the Facebook page. Like, there's people doing this challenge that uh, that's just going to irritate me to death that, um, you know, won't be posting on YouTube. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do with that. 
go ahead and get this washed off. Loving that green that's coming through. You know why? Because yellow and blue make green. Start tilting it a little bit. See what I got going on here. I don't have to worry about these drippy cups. Push that paint right on up there. I kind of need to get the paint going down there where those drips are. That I do not like at all. <laughs> Go around my little dam there. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to happen though, isn't it? <laughs> To be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning, and every friend holds a new end. Eyes on the road, don't lose control. I'm speeding fast to chase my soul. I'm driving to get away. High and low, holding on or letting go. I'm fighting another day. The neon lights in the fast lane, light riding high, reaching for the sky. I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end.
love with this. Oh, that green just looks so cool, especially with my dream sickle. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to work on my edges. I'm going to scrape them off, and then I will take a picture and bring you in for a close-up. Thanks for being here with me. Real quick, I just forgot to do this. Get these bubbles good and popped. <laughs> I know who's going to love this, my mama. And believe me, she does not like everything I do. <laughs> okay, give me a few minutes, y'all. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back, and I'm sorry for the glare, but it is wet paint, and this came out really awesome. I got the drips I wanted. That's so cool, and they'll flatten out because of the Floetrol I use is a paint conditioner, and that's what it's for in real life. <laughs> anyway, look at these awesome lines. This is going to just dry so beautifully, and it met all the criteria I wanted for this painting. I got my lines, I got my drips, I got my negative space, and I hope you guys are loving it as much as I am. And speaking of love, I want to wish you all a lot of peace, love, what else? <laughs> peace, love, well, I'm just thinking of laughter. I want you guys to have laughter every day. I never want you to wonder when you laughed last. Anyways, I love y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.